Then just sneak up behind me. Oh, am I so much? What is on your mind? you want to show me your poems. You must have written hundreds of them during the past few weeks since we met each other. I already told you I am writing for myself. Yes, but I found one of my friends this morning. She knows someone who could help you publish your poems. You would earn a little extra money. No, I don't want that. What I am writing, I am writing for a different purpose. What kind of purpose? To scrape through life as a full poet? I'm not one of those people who writes to become famous and make big money. So why are you writing so much? Writing and poetry are simply a part of me. As well as traveling, I know. You already mentioned that. You know, I think you're quite strange. Sometimes I get the impression you are not living in this world, in one which is far away from this planet. I don't expect you to understand me. Not many people do I'm it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take. I didn't mean you to take it personally. All right, no problem. So let's go. This day is too beautiful to spend it arguing, yeah. Every day it's too beautiful to spend our day. Let's go. Max, we are going. Morning. Hi. Can I turn on the radio? Change your tone. What do you mean by that? Every day you ask me the same thing, just turn it off. I'm not even listening to it. Didn't you? 
you sleep well or you are still angry because of yesterday? What is it? this side of you. What is it again? You need to have what you need for your brother. What are you driving at? You found the letter. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about that I'm going to say farewell to the two of you quite soon. What do you mean, quite soon? Within a few days. Within a few days? Of course, it's not the problem, is it? Go, just leave. Go without warning. Just like you came into our lives. Why this anger, Runa? Let us depart as friends. You and Max will stay in my heart always. So that's it. You come into my life, you take what you need and leave regardless of consequences. Please don't be unfair. You were looking for someone to help take care of your brother. And I've been there for him. But now it's time for me to move on. You will find someone. How can you be so selfish? I was hoping you would understand. In this situation, it's for the best that I move on. As soon as possible. You should know better. Hey, you moved the camera, I think. It's okay.
Magnus. 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 Ty mám Again. That son of a bitch. Same shit, different night. You bastard. Been dreaming of father again. Yes. About that bastard again. He just won't let me live in peace. Bastard! He's to blame for all this. Him! Never forget that. Yeah, yeah. All those women listed in your address book? No, I'm only moving on. To another girl. Please don't be unreasonable again. Do you really want to let me and Max down? Let you down? What are you talking about? You have everything you need. to Max for me. This is Mr. Petrish Mayhem. So far he's been everywhere with me. He's almost become a part of me. But when he saw him, there was this glint in his eye. Petri will be in a good hands with him. He doesn't need a doll. He needs you. You mean a lot to him. Please understand. I have to go. I cannot stay. Good evening, Solov.
Our date seems like a really bad movie. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Don't get me wrong. I'm serious. It's just so absurd. Yet it serves you. You don't have to pretend anything to me. It serves us both. I mean, I just cannot understand why you are doing this. There must be some deeper reason behind it. I just want to help. Just help. How many have you already just helped? Don't know. I'm not counting. Is it okay with you if I smoke? Yeah. All losers smoke. But not all smokers are losers. Well, well. <laughs> and which group do you belong to? Seems I'm the member of the first one. Since my accident a few years ago, <laughs> I've only been able to bear all this by retreating into my dreams. But at some point, at some point, it becomes clear that it's just ridiculous. You know, it's fucking ridiculous. Fucking shit. Fucking legs. It's fucking ridiculous to simply jump from dream to dream. Fuck all this shit. Hey, let's go for a walk. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Go for a walk. Good idea for Ari. Cut. So when did you make your decision? You really want to hear about that? At first, the only person who made my life worth living left me. And Lost love. No Lazarus. I know you probably hear these kind of stories all the time, but with me, it's different. Somehow, he didn't actually leave me. He just wasn't around often enough for it. To be like that. He 
stopped feeding my dreams. However, as well as that, I found out something a few days ago. I found out that my biggest wish and the only dream will never come true. So right now, nothing makes sense anymore. Maybe even this doesn't make sense anymore. What you are doing is right. You haven't mentioned that it can't go on like this. Yeah, I know. You're probably right. Trust me. You promised it will be painless. I promised. Just one more thing, Lazarus. Yeah? I've got something for you. It's in my flat. What is it? My legacy. For you. But you will see. What you are talking about? Here. Take the keys. You will find it between the pictures. Promise that you are going to go? I promise. I'm ready then.
setelah Sriandi oh there's no one Sriandi thank you Is this orphanage smooth home? You are not from here, are you? No, I'm just visiting for a couple of days. And whose guests are you? Pastor Johansson. Are you a relative? No, just a good friend. I got to know him in Gothenburg before he took up his position here. Gotcha. Beautiful dog, isn't he? Yes, truly a noble dog. <laughs> well, he has cost me a fortune. Life shouldn't be for sale. I wouldn't have bought that dog. But who knows, in some countries they go straight to the pot. They eat dogs in China. Have you ever been there? Yes. And uh, was it tasty? I couldn't tell you, I'm a vegetarian. Uh, China, China. Quite far away. Do you know someone there? I've met many people and visited many places during my journeys. So, how long have you been traveling around? About five years. But every now and then I return to Gothenburg. So, probably you experienced a lot. Good things and bad things. Uh, so, maybe uh, you can show me some pictures of China? I don't have any pictures. You traveled that far and you didn't even take any pictures? Everything I experienced I wrote down and I have it in my memory. So, you wrote a book? No letters to my companion in Gothenburg. He cannot travel himself, that is why I let him share all my experiences. Ah, gotcha. And... Uh, where are you heading next? Home. I mean... First to Gothenburg to meet my companion. So, I wish you good luck, and next time do not forget to take some pictures for me. Gotcha! Gotcha. <laughs>
Hello, young lady. May I help you? Someone, where can I find help? Oh. You have to go to our uh, receptionist, uh, Linda Borg, and it's the first door to the left. Good luck. Thank you. Come in. Hello, Miss Burn. I have a small request which I would like to ask you. It will only take a few minutes. Please, take a seat. How can I help you? Can I smoke here? The whole orphanage is non-smoking area. Could you please open the door? I have a message for your neighbor, Ari. Ari Kielva. Please, uh, just come inside for a sec. You want some coffee or a beer? Thanks, coffee would be nice. Okay, just a moment.
tam je teraz spečná. Očko je tak? A je nemá grafy. Šmirníš. Somehow it looks exactly like I expected. The computer must have been taken by the boot. Carter's chance. Going through the beginning once again. Somehow it looks exactly like I expected. The computer must have been taken by the board. Who has that? No idea. Come on, we better go. Not before I found something. What if that guy comes back or someone sees the light? Tell me, it's okay? What is so important?
Mountain King. Don't be sad. Come on. Get up. Come on. Nothing. Not even the smallest school. What are you going to do? Don't cry. A glass of wine and the whole world will sit down. So, where have you been throwing around again? Probably boozing all night. Who do you think you are? You'll never become anything. It's none of your fucking business where I've been. It's how it's my business. I'm still your mother. Whatever. Want some coffee? Don't change the subject. You think I went through the torment of your birth to see you throwing your life away? So far it hasn't bothered you. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, it can't go on like this. You lazy bastard. You're becoming too much like your father. It's about time you went out and earned some money and got me out of this hell. Oh yeah, great plan. You had it before. You had it thousand times before. I don't give a shit about all this here. I don't give a shit about you. Leave me alone. Finish your breakfast, beard. Shut up! I beg your pardon? Don't talk to me like that. After all, I'm your mother. I'm the only thing you've got. Uh, no. Yes. No. You want that you're the only thing I have. Since I was a child, you've tried to make me depend by letting me feel guilty about everything. Since I was a child, you've tried to convince me that I'm a loser. 
And yeah, that's right. It's my fault that you have to live like this. That's right. Of course. Yes, it's your fault. You and your bloody father. Yeah. You both ruined my life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're to blame. One big problem less right now. What did I do? I deserve better. <laughs> I'm so pathetic. Sitting here, whining and boozing all the time. No one is going to save you. I certainly know. Forget it. Lasse, how was your journey to Gatlinburg? I'm sorry, do we know each other? I'm a close friend of Ari. Ari? We wanted to go together on a journey. He's waiting for us there. He was so impatient that he left a couple of days ago. Sounds strange. Did something happen? Uh, yeah. He stayed at home a lot and didn't have many visitors, you know. He finally wanted to get it going. Did he say anything? Only that I should meet with you and you would show me the way. He inaugurated you? Yeah. In that case, we can make our way together. <laughs> Good. All right. Harry will have done the right thing. And really soon we will be reunited. Yeah, that's true. Shall we go? Yes. Our train leaves soon. Destiny is calling. Some kind of lonely? Lonely? No. I am always among the people. Sometimes here, sometimes there. It seems I did not tell you much about me. No, not really. He only went into raptures 
over your magical place without being too precise somehow he always had fables and riddles yes that it's true but why are you talking about him in the past oh. i didn't even realize you know i had a long night How did you get to know each other? In an internet forum. And now this is worse. Yeah. And there are travelogues. You are aware that he experiences the world half through you. Yes, I know. He rose from his terrible accident. I just tried to convey my journeys. In, in as much detail as possible. He was quite felt down. You know, I totally neglected him. In fact, I wanted to be with him weeks ago. He felt quite down when and you didn't get to be in touch with him for a long time. But as soon as I am with him, I think he will understand my behavior. I believe you for sure. We missed our train. Sitting. You can bet your life on it. What is happening here? I don't know. He, but you have been pestering him. Yeah, just a little difference of opinion. But. Oh, thank you. What was worth getting in such rage about? Just to put off something. You should try it. Somehow I get the feeling you know.
Interested in Magnus is this? Yeah. How did Ari set off for the inner army? Never ask. He went with a woman. By car. A woman? Yeah. They got to know each other in some online chat. in my absence more happened than I ever they got to know each other in some online chat seems in my absence more happened than I ever could have anticipated they got to know each other in some online chat Seems in my absence more happened than I ever could have anticipated. I'm glad for Ari that he found someone he thinks is worth it. Apart from you, of course. Yeah, they seem to be quite happy. It must have changed a lot. What I don't understand that he inaugurated so many. Actually, we wanted to go this way alone. Only the two of us. He was just waiting until I was prepared for it. Now you are prepared. Yes. My years of travel are over. In the world, like I was instructed to. I've learned enough about the people in it, and I'm, I found myself. My decision is made. I want to settle down at the inner yard with my family and those whose spirits share the same values as me. Land. Isn't it almost at the end of the world? What is so special about this place? Are you really did not tell you? Even though he chose you? No. He only told me that I'm worthy. And that I'm to go. I shall follow, I mean. With you. He really did not tell me anymore? No, he only told me that you will explain everything to me. Our destination is Balkama. A poetic community. Is situated far away from the hectic rush of civilization and all its sinister spin-offs. A world without distrust, envy and hatred. It's full of pleasure, love and security. The inhabitants of this hect Kurva.
What now? Tomorrow we are traveling further towards the inner Yarby by bus. So let's go shopping then. Very good idea. <laughs> Which to his own? So, so what now? We are looking for a quiet place to eat and to spend the night. How everything is different from in my dreams. Well, it's wonderful. If I only consider that just yesterday I was in crappy Gothenburg and now here. talking about the destination of our journey a short while ago did you really share the same desire as me? what are you getting at? do you think it doesn't mean as much as as much as me as much to me as it does to you? Heavens, no. After all, you are a chosen one. You have been selected by I, and in this choice, I put my faith. You know, last time. Everything is the way you said. It's probably the best thing which could happen to me. Really clean slate. You are not satisfied with your past life? I'd rather you didn't remind me of it. seems that only yesterday I was another person. Don't you want to tell me more? Better not. <laughs> Everyone has his dark secrets. This journey is based on mutual trust. I sense that our spirits are closer to each other than I previously thought. I just need time to really figure you out. What exactly is our destination? Mm. Southeast of Inari. Along the shores of the inner Yervi. There will be signs to, to show us the right way.
something pretty. <laughs> Just a change of scenery. I'm not fond of such places. It's precisely why we are finally going on this journey. To leave such things behind. I know. But let us celebrate one last time. You mean drink? Call it like you want. This is nothing for me. Well, if you want to celebrate once again, do it then. One last time. In that case, I would rather go for a walk to savor the evening in a different way. Okay. I will come along in a little while. When? into three hours. Is it here? <coughs> Close community. You don't seem to be local. I'm from Gothenburg. And you are quite nice. Well, at least you're honest. <laughs> just quite inbred. Come on, just peace off. Marie, what's the point? Mary. Beautiful name. <clears throat> so, what brings you here, sweetheart? Are you on a holiday or are you a criminal on the run? <laughs> Somehow we're all on the run, aren't we? Stop bubbling and just pick up. <laughs> Stop bubbling and just piss off. Are those your lab dogs? You quite like worry, aren't you? <clears throat> Fuck off, or I smash your face in. Yes, come down. Hey, hey. Again? Come on, easy. Just cut it out. Sit there and order another beer. It will be healthier for you. Go oh, fuck yourself, it's good for stress. Hey, stop it! But your friend? Yes. It's enough. Fuck off. You may ever see your friends around here again. Nothing would have happened with me. I've got my Swedish Jesus with me. Hey, come on, let's go, Jesus. It was a good one, wasn't it? Even though I'm not a believer, it's sacrilegious what you are saying. Hey, it was a compliment. Please forget it, you are drunk. 
We are going back to our time, just leave it. Hey, I heard that man. You think I'm not good enough for you and your paradise? Hey, I'm serious. You are my Jesus. My Redeemer. I don't have a clue. It was a good one, wasn't it? Even though I'm not a believer, it's sacrilegious what you are saying. Hey, it was a compliment. Please forget it, you are drunk. We are going back to our tent. Just leave it. But I even such a person. Hey, I heard that man. You think I'm not good enough for you and your paradise? Hey, I'm serious. You are my Jesus. My Redeemer. You don't have a clue. I'm cold, I'm going to sleep. Okay. Anderson. Kiev.
Lasse. 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 Hello? Lola? Lassie. My God, where are you? I am in Yelivar. Yelivar? What the hell are you doing in Yelivar? Luna? Things are getting out of hand. I almost don't have the strength anymore to continue the journey. I'll pick you up. Now this thing is too far for me. Gallivar is only a stopover. I have to go on to the inner view. Where do you want to go? To inner in Finland. So we'll meet there. I have to see you again. When will you be there? Probably today in the evening. There is a church. I have to go. I cannot stay here any longer. Lasse, what happened? Lasse! Swedish Tourist International Bookings. My name is Christina Carlson. How may I help you? Hello, my name is Runa Eskot. I need a flight from Homestead to Inari in Northern Finland. One moment, please. When would you like to fly to Ivalo? Inari, not Ivalo. I only have Ivalo listed in my system. Please hold the line. Mrs. Esklet? Yes? Ivalo is situated within the administrative district of Inari. The village of Inari itself is about 50 kilometers further north. Okay, I need the next flight. Uh, one moment, please. Mm, you're calling just too late for the 6 o'clock flight. 
Um, the next bookable flight goes at 6.50 from Homestad. You would be in Ivalo at 6.40 p.m. So late. There are no direct flights from Homestad to Ivalo. The next connection is SAS 430 to Stockholm, then Skyr 148 to Helsinki and Finner 533 to Ivalo. Together these flights cost 978 euros plus an administration fee. Uh, would you like to book? Yes. Do you have a customer ID? Yes, 791369. Please tell me the last four digits of your credit card. Seven. Last check-in is one hour before takeoff. Your tickets will be ready at the SAS counter in Homestad. Thank you for your booking. Thank you, goodbye. Anna? Could you take my private for a while again? Yes, right now. No, it's an emergency. I'll bring him to you straight away. Thanks. Down first. What happened? It's impossible to tell you everything I'm doing. At least we'll try. Come on, let's take this at first. Dead. I know. What's in your head? It's it's been a newspaper. I've been to Wienersburg. 
was searching for you. I have also been to the orphanage. Orphanage, Milton? Yes. Where you were abandoned by your parents. Now that it's... That... Now that it was... Cool. <laughs> No, no, go on, go on. Yeah, that is not how it was. No, that is not how it was. I was supposed to stay there until my father had established his community here. Later on, he sent me to see the world, so I would appreciate his creation more. Your father? What community? I, I don't understand anything. And what's with your mother? Where is she? Okay. Let's look for a hotel and tomorrow return to... I cannot go back so close to Valkama. I have to return home to my father. Okay. Okay. Why don't you tell me more about... About what? Your father, the community, Ari, everything. I don't know where to start. Just anywhere. a companion in my journey and he was he was a friend of of Harry and um, and he met me a few days ago We've been walking for hours and hours. Are you sure you know what it is? Father said along the western shore, and I will recognize the signs. When was the last time you talked to him? Talked? <laughs> it was years ago. We write letters. I don't understand. You don't have the fixed address, so where does he send them? To Ari. I visited him once in a while during my years of travel. But you have never been here. Please be patient. Passe. Yes. Are you sure you want to live here in this community? Of course. And you and Max, you too can be also the part of this idyllic and perfect world. Let's go.
looks quite appealing. He's living here. In solitude. Maybe a hunter or fisherman. Or someone who's crazy. What about the bottles and the candles? Maybe he wants to expel the evil ghost of the wood. Of course. You know, I'm serious. Many people live in close commune or superstitious. Are uh, Christians? No, I'm serious. Many people who live in close communion with nature are superstitious. I often experience it during my journeys. And you really want to stay here? As it looks like nobody has been here during a few days. Just been spending the night only here. I did not want to disturb your dreams, and soon will be with you again. I will walk a short way back to make sure that we did not overlook any signs during yesterday's walk. your words. I don't have to justify the community in the face of strangers. This is a place of perfection. Of pure, spiritual and elevated life. But... I have to move on. I have to track him down. Why did you just leave? I... Don't you want to take me with you anymore? Don't I have a right to a... I... What did you do with Ari? I accompanied him in his last journey. No murderer! Murderer? I helped him. You deserted him. With where? With Runa. With Runa? Amusing yourself with a woman while Ari was sitting there in his dump and waiting to set off to the better world with you? And now you are blaming me for his suicide? Again. But together we wanted to... It should all be different. <laughs> yeah. It always turns out different than expected. I've met many people who figured that out. 
but this is my former life. Where is the Valkama? My son. No! No! You don't have to be here! You don't exist! We, we don't want you here! He poisoned... He poisoned the community! Watch your words. I don't have to justify the community no. in the face of strangers. This is a place of perfection! What? A place of spiritual... Pure and elevated okay. life. I have to protect Valkama. 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 You sick fucker! You liar! Welcome to paradise. What now? Where? Home. Yeah. You do go home. What's with? 